you fool. You can take a rattle of me. Ella Kizzy Deborah was a lively and happy child, but at the age of just nine, she died after having an asthma attack. Now, in a landmark ruling, a coroner has listed air pollution as a cause of her death. At a press conference, her mother Rosamond said she'd waited years for this moment. Yes, this was about my daughter getting air pollution on the death certificate, which we finally have. And we've got the justice for her, which she so deserved. But also, it's about other children still, as we walk around our city of high levels of air pollution. Ella lived 25 metres from London's South Circular, one of the busiest and most polluted roads in Britain. In the three years before her death, nitrogen dioxide levels exceeded World Health Organization guidelines and she was admitted to hospital nearly 30 times. The coroner said Ella's severe asthma meant she was literally living on a knife edge. He said she was exposed to excessive levels of air pollution and the failure to reduce those levels possibly contributed to her death. Ella is the first person in the UK to have air pollution listed as a cause of death and campaigners are now calling for emergency action. We hope now this heralds um, a sea change in how government, local authorities and others think about air pollution and that much more urgent action is taken to protect all of us, but particularly the most vulnerable from breathing dirty air. In a statement today, the government said, we are delivering a £3.8 billion pounds plan to clean up transport and tackle nitrogen dioxide pollution. We are also setting ambitious new air quality targets with a primary focus on reducing public health impacts. Ella's mum says there now needs to be real change. Her legacy would be to bring in a new Clean Air Act and for... Um, governments, I'm not just talking about the UK government, governments around the world to take this matter seriously. The inquest heard Ella's family didn't know the risks posed by air pollution. They now have justice for her, but want action to save others. Leila Hayes, 5 News.